Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. All things Middle Earth here. A few weeks ago on stream, we did a tier list for every single evil commander. And as a community kind of came together and uh, ranked all these commanders. And so I've had a few requests to put that up on YouTube. So as promised, here is that video. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> We are doing the all evil commanders ranked. Uh, again, like I've said, I'd love any feedback in the chat. This is I, I think the best way these are done is more communally. Um, a lot of the videos I've seen on YouTube of people doing this, it's like they have conferred with people because it's hard for one person to have like the best understanding of every commander in the game. Um, I think that was a very early tier list, so it's probably pretty far off. Where will Witch King be placed? We'll find out. He's he's down there towards the end with other tier three commanders. We'll find out. I got I got a good idea where I think I'm gonna put the Witch King. Uh, okay, let's get it started. We have uh, who is this? This is the War Guy Sharku, right? I suppose we can pull stuff up as we go if we want to. If that would be easy for people to see, kind of who we're looking at. So we're looking at Sharku first on the tier list. Um, I'm not really amazed with Sharku. He's got March Speed, the Tip Completion, Siege, Resources. Um, none of that's really good. And then I don't think either. I don't know. I feel like the Warg Trainer in theory looks pretty nice. Uh, extra Defense with Wargs. Ally Units with Wargs. Recover HP and Warg Trainer. But I think that's I just I don't know what the, the best builds are with him and nothing else really stands out to me. But I don't think he's terrible. Unfortunately, wargs aren't that great. Yeah, we need. Uh, it'd be cool if like if there were some you know like a a new like a tier four warg unit or something like a wild warg that you know was just a warg. But I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. I'm honestly I put him there just to hold him in C. I'm kind of thinking C as well. Zen, you think C tier? I feel like well. I feel like C is basically saying, are, I mean, are we saying, are we saying Grishnak is literally the worst? Because like, there's a siege. I honestly think Gothmog could be out of, I don't think he needs to be in the siege tier even. Gothmog, I think, has a lot of uses. But, I mean, we're basically saying he's pretty bottom of the barrel, which I think is probably accurate. It's okay for basic stuff, but bad at war. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's probably fine. That's probably fine. All right, next up is Mr. Grima Wormtongue. Uh, I feel like people kind of sing Grima's praises. I think I've heard him, and I think I've said this just based on what I've heard. I feel like I've heard people say that Grima is the best tier one commander, and I'd be curious if other people think differently. I don't feel like I've used Grima long enough to really know with him like what's the best thing because I moved on to tier two and tier three commanders. I feel like Wormtongue with Madness and a lot of this stuff going on is very good. I think second in command is a solid perk and that's all tier one. Grima's very good. A tier, S tier. I haven't had too much success with Grima, but I only have him at respect one. It is am I wrong? Would Wormtongue and Second in Command be the best build? I feel like it would be. Um, Axox Baby Lurts. My Galadriel struggles against any Grima R1. Okay. Um, I just I don't think I've taken him to a high enough level or put the best troops with him. That's probably been my issue. I focused on the Nazgul more. Um. I think for his accessibility, his R1 usefulness, I'll split the difference. We had S, I had an S and an A suggested. I think I probably put him somewhere up there. So let's go A plus. All right, let's do that. Hello, hello, mate. Mental, how's it going? We're doing a little evil tier list if you're just tuning in. Uh, I might be using him wrong, but he, uh, wrong then because for me, he consistently performs worse than my Khaldun. Yeah, again, I have not used him more. I think he's like level 30 for me. I didn't really, I stopped using him once I got um, Kamul going. Bird's eye view. I have Grima at R5. He's pretty solid. I think A plus is good. Is B plus the best? Uh, no, S plus is the best. 
Thomas, how's it going? My weekend was good. I've got family in town as of Saturday, so it's been good. Kind of busy, but good. Uh, Mental, we did a good tier list uh, on Wednesday last week, actually. So I'm going to be posting that and the footage from this on YouTube for people if they want to go back and watch just the tier list portion of the stream. So I'll, I'll get those up for people. I've, I've had a, a couple mention that. Uh, ready for the Tuesday stream to start? Yeah, the uh, it'll be it'll be Wednesday night for me, I believe. I, I assume you're referencing the um, start of season two. All right. Next up is uh, what's his face? Agzok? Or no, that's Ugthak. Here he is. Here's Agzok. Um, it seems like I I think he's probably the next best tier one commander. It seems like some people were saying right around Grima. Some were saying he likes him better. Some were saying he's close to it. Where do we think Agzok ranks? Um, from what I've heard, it seems like maybe people prefer Grima. So I don't know if that just puts him in A. Uh, Bird's Eye, you said you prefer Agzok over Grima. Um, some people were, who said Agzok is very good because he's basically baby Lurts. A, A plus. It's like a weaker alert. A, a or A plus is what you're saying in reverse. Agzok R5 is awesome at range units. It, it also seems like Agzok's usefulness is more respect required. Would that, would that be accurate to say? His R5 is where he's really useful against range units. So... I think, I think I feel good with him in A. Right now, we'll see where he gets shuffled around. If we did A+, plus, I think we'd do him below Grima. But let's just put him in A for now. Again, this list this list can be shuffled around while we're going. So if you've got an argument for someone, um, if you think they need to be bumped up or down, like, and you have a serious uh, information for that, we can shuffle around. But as we add commanders, we'll be kind of shuffling everyone and saying, well, I think he's better than him or he's better than that. Or if we get enough in a certain category and think, man, this person really doesn't compare to these ones. Let's bump them down. Or, hey, this person's way better than these ones. Let's bump them up. We'll, we'll keep it kind of fluid. Um, no, I don't really use them in R5. I would recommend uh, uh, Tier 1, Top Tree, and R3 Tree. Okay. He's great. I already leveled him up and got his letter. Nice. You use the R3. Okay, so so he's a little bit more accessible. He's not like locked at R5. Again, we're not looking at accessibility as a means of ranking. We could do a list like that, but I think it's going to be the most fair to, to rank these just based on their most optimal builds. Now, obviously, obviously that means that like tier three commanders are going to be harder to actually like achieve their ranking in game, but I just, I don't, I don't think it's, yeah, you know, it's we're not going to put Witch King at B plus tier because oh he's better R three or Undying or whatever if that makes sense. Um, all right, now next up. Does that? No. your internet put oh your life gosh. on pause? No. What's going on? Switch to Spectrum. Good. I was like, what's happening? Um. Okay, next is uh. Maltoke. Yeah, we're pretty much gonna be ranking them at R five. That that ad like freaked me out. Does my internet? I guess my my internet did kind of put my my life. Up. I thought I didn't know what that was. Uh, Maltoke's another commander I have not seen. Forgot that dude was in game. Um, I have not seen him used too much. He has um, the same warg trainer skills that. Uh, Sharku has, but I think his other skills are much better than Sharku. So what do, what do we think about that? Um, I pulled Grishnak recently. Is he good? I don't know. Grishnak has his own tier at the bottom here, so I don't think so, but we're going to talk about it. Um, this is not someone I've used, but I have heard people kind of sing the praises. Um, who was saying? Who said S? Uh, Mighty Marin, you think Maltuk is S tier? Um... B, we got two two for B, without me having used him and with me just seeing, oops, uh, 
C. Isn't he trash? I don't. I know. I've I've seen a lot of people really liking him. So, oh, we're kind of we're kind of split on this one. We got the high end. We got a one S tier rating, and then a, a more more Bs and Cs. Fighting him with two hundred tiles uh, as good side. He forces a lot of draws, sort of like a worse Kieran. Okay. Also depend on what stats he has. All right. Um. Again, I, th I think we'll probably split the difference here. I've got some B votes, an A vote, an S vote, some C votes. I'm thinking somewhere in the B plus or B range. Um, since that's generally where we're at. There are better t uh, tier ones than him. Definitely a Tyler. I don't know if he'd be a Tyler. I think there are worse tier ones that could probably be like really be Tylers. Uh, but I mean, yeah, we have, we have Agshock and Grima above him. But I'd say maybe he's more, um, he could be more more middle of the rung than like bottom tier. His heal for wargs is underwhelming compared to um, Gorbag. Uh, you mean, what's his face? Sharku? Shar Sharku has the same warg heal, is that what you mean? Or do you mean like Warbag or Gorbag's? Like, just straight up heal that he has. Because he has the old orc and the heal here. He's definitely not as good as Agsok. Okay. We'll leave him right there for now. Again, as we keep putting more troops in and we get a better idea, we'll shuffle people around if we need. But... Uh, I have not used Mouth Toke extensively. So again, this is kind of a, we're trying to do a community poll here as we go through this to see what people are thinking about them. Some I think are very obvious, like, oh yeah, this, this is a good commander. And some, it just depends on who's had use of them. Um, he's definitely not near, okay, okay, gotcha, yeah. All right, uh, now, who is this, Caldoon? Caldoon, right? Caldoon, let's bring him up. Right here. Um, Caldoon was someone that I did not think out of the three evil men was that good, but I've I've had a lot of people telling me that that Caldoon is very solid. Um, honestly, I think Yasra is probably. Would it be correct to say Yasra is the worst evil men commander out of the three? Because I think she's more utility with the warband leader perk, and then the other two. Caldoon is probably close to Agzok, in my opinion. A plus, A plus. I've seen people wreck Gandalfs with him. A plus or S plus, if you're Angmar. A at least. Y Yusra is only utility. A plus. Caldoon does best against my Gandalf. Holy cow. Yeah, I think that's a pretty overwhelming. Um, even better than Witch King, really. Interesting. Is that just, what does he have in his kit that makes him succeed against Gandalf specifically? Normal attacks, lower enemy stats, um, damage received, reduction, physical damage, okay. Uh, which one is that? Double attacks. Did I miss it or is that R5? Oh, here we go. Wait, no, that's not that. Oh, interesting. What does that max out at? Is that three? Is that just three point six uh, divided by or times seven? So is it a twenty five? Okay, twenty five percent. Hmm, that is interesting. I mean, it's not an amazing chance, but all with, with all evil men, the attacking multiple times is very very good. Check Witch King. Or wait, what am I checking? War chat. World chat. <laughs> Why am I, I? I struggle so much. Uh, what's going on? Oh, he posted a report. I thought you were like saying like there was like some. <laughs> 
And I like it's like people were like being demoralized in world chat. I'm like, what's going on? All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Thank you. Jeez. Sometimes I'm just not with it. Appreciate the patience. All right. Khaldun. Solid gear. He has got Easterling and Marshal of the East Mark. 24% chance of attacking twice. Damage received. Stun. And is that... Yo, that's my Khaldun. Let's go. There you go. Uh, the best for free to play on my option uh, opinion. It's a solid build. Um, is it? I mean, is this is this like ideal Khaldun? Kind of the best you'd see him perform. I don't know if there'd be better troops for him necessarily, but I mean, again, he's he's hitting a draw with a, a level fifty Gandalf. I don't know if the if the four levels are going to make a huge difference there. Here's Gandalf gear. Pretty, pretty good, pretty good standard build there for him. Other report. Dang. That seems so surprising to me. What I, I don't, I don't, I guess I don't understand what's happening here, because I don't think my Witch King. Oh, it's because he didn't have R. It's because he didn't have R three. That's why. The 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 R three is 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 a big thing on Witch King. Not not saying that, you know, this that this couldn't have happened closer, but if we are comparing the two. Um, I don't know if I have any good battles against, like, like against a full Gandalf. I know I was flexing on the weak one. Um, let's see here. This is why I'm excited on this server to do some more testing, to get some really clean, like, optimal build fights. You know what I mean? So we can see, okay, what, what is, how are the same commanders performing? Let's see what we got here. Um... All right. Well, I, again, and every build is going to be different, so it's tough. This is a level forty-nine versus forty-six. This was when he had his full army up against Cataphract and Noldor long shots. Um. So that's that's this, and that's because of the R three. Like, there's a huge, huge difference. Um. Obviously, here, my Witch King had less going in. I don't know if this was the full. This is Cataphract Master Thrower. He had been weakened a bit. It's tough to say. It's tough to say. I mean, it, no, all all things you know being considered, um, it sounds like who are we talking about? Um, what's his face? Khaldun is is solid. The fact that he's putting up close numbers. Uh, okay. Let me catch up here. Gears also worse. Blah blah blah. I'm sorry, but Kindland will be owned by Erebor. We killed all the armies with. <laughs> I hate to hear that. I hate to hear that. Uh, I have a level 50 Gandalf near you if you want a one v one, but have to attack me because I'm not quite in range. Where are you at? Um... South or what? I know. Drummer, is your game is your name the same in game? Put in world chat. Is this you right here? Yeah. My the problem is how long is the march going to be here? The march is 10 minutes and I'm nervous that if I send him it's just going to get bounced. I don't know who all is over here and if they're um or it's, I miss, maybe it's this one. The citizens were rooting for the okay, that is um Shadow Zebra 
Yeah, your, yours, is the, yours is the one I think I looked at too. I want to get somewhere where I can know we're not going to get bounced. And we can do... Oh, you got bounced too. I want to go somewhere I know that we can do stuff. Addy, you posted a location. Uh, here. Here it is. Want to do that? So, do you want me to move here and then you hit? You're padding there? Is this you right here? Okay, sweet. That will work. I'll, I'll send right here. I don't think anyone will come in here and, and, and boot us out. So, we can do a little, little, uh, testing. Who do I have with him? Uh, ideally, I'd like to have more alchemists than I do, but we're running heavier on the berserkers because we're running low. But this is still like a solid, solid build. Um, how many do we have left? We have a lot. Honestly, once he gets it, once he gets there, I might shuffle the troops around a little bit if, if I have time. But we'll see. It's not it's not too big of a deal. But I'm, I want to see. Bear, we need to smoke before fighting. <laughs> um, do you have troops for more of us? Yeah, I should have enough to do a couple of different ones. So we'll, we'll get that going. We'll, con we'll continue the tier list. Uh, so, I mean, in that in that in that conversation, it sounds like we're comparing uh, Khaldun, to keep all these names straight, with Witch King, and we're kind of testing that out. So, to me, that I think means he's better than Grima. I'm gonna set him at A plus above Grima, unless anybody really thinks he needs to be pushed into the S tier. But I'd, I'd be interested in hearing that. Um, or we could just put him up here. I feel like we had a lot of... Do we have a lot of S chat? Let's see. Put him above Grimo or S tier. Um, Sharku S tier. What do you mean C? Well... Vizio, if you can send us some reports of uh, of Sharku dominating, uh, we'd love to hear it. But he didn't get much love when when he came up in the conversation. <laughs> um, we're doing some some kind of battling and testing here because uh, they're 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 singing Mal uh, Khaldun's praises. They're saying he's they're saying he's as good as the Witch King, and I I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, Khaldun is not even close to Witch King in my opinion, but better than Grima. But I'm not the biggest Grima supporter. A plus is good. Sharku, Sharku is a siege boy. Uh, yeah, honestly, we could move Sharku down to siege because he has that siege perk. I just honestly think the plus one siege ability is not that good. I think it's overrated. I think Evil especially has a lot of good siege troops. So I think the only person who would go into siege would be Gothmog. But I think he has better abilities that make him like not even just like a siege commander. Khaldun is good. Doesn't get much better after R6. Okay. Again, we're uh, I saw a lot of people saying he was he really gave him trouble against their Gandalfs, which I think is really interesting. Um, Siege and resource, yeah, that's kind of what I call like utility commanders. Like I feel like Yasra is kind of that utility commander too. Um, yeah, people were saying free to play. He's very very good. So maybe again, if we were doing a free to play list, or you know, if we were taking that, but we're kind of saying at their most optimal. Which again, that was the what was the the report posted about Witch King? Um, I think the big difference here was this one. This Witch King is not R three, and that's like that's the exact problem I had when I tried to take tiles with my Witch King before R three. He gets stomped, um, not stomped, but like this is a good comp, but whoever this is, Assassin. Uh, hopefully get that R3 at some point, but I know it takes forever. But yeah. All right. I think I think we're setting at A plus while we're letting the we're getting set for some some face off here. Um. Big difference is damage by Gandalf's army as well. I would say Caldun is the best tier one. Hysteria played a big part of that. All things Middle Earth. I wasn't sure to put uh, sure to put Caldun R5, and on the Discord they said R3 is enough, but I'll rush his R5. Um, 
So yeah, with Khaldun, it sounds like, uh, where is he? Is this him? Yeah. It sounds like R5 is one of his best because this ability up here, he gets the double attack chance up to 25% for evil men. So if you take a whole army in, um, that's pretty good. So I think the R5 is, is a good skill for him. Not saying he couldn't be useful at R3, um, but I think it sounds like R5 is going to be the best. What about Hysteria in the report? Uh, are we talking about the same one? Oh, did I miss it? There it is. Uh, or no. You mean actually in the actual report? A great way to improve that tier list would be to add a small Roman number so I know the respect level required. Yeah, we are looking at their most optimal build, so it's kind of like assuming at least R5 on everybody, but some are more useful at R1, so it kind of um, kind of depends. Oh, you've got Hysteria on the helmet. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Um, how often does that launch? Every two rounds? So it'd be Gandalf. Stunned from which... Wait. No, wait, yeah. Okay, he was stunned. I'm trying to see see that hysteria hitting. Right there. Is it... How many... How often is it? Every two rounds. Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's going to be... That's going to play a big part, too. That's going to play a big part. Um, all right, I want to shuffle this around a little bit for you. I, I think we're going to be a little bit more optimal. If we dial that down and dial that up. So give me th give me three minutes so we can. I, th I think that's a little bit more optimal for me. Shadow. Addy. Okay, yeah. If and, and we can kind of just kind of face off in this general area right here, and I can keep reinforcing, or we can reinforce if you guys want to. All right. Continuing. Oh, okay. At your switcher, once I have troops again, I'd like to set up some tests with Lurts and Kumul and potentially get some advice. Yeah, again, that's that's one of our big plans with this server is providing spaces for us to test things out and everybody learn, everyone get better with their commanders, get prepared for the next season, all kinds of good stuff like that. So I think there's going to be some really good, good stuff. All right, got to keep an eye on that world chat. Yasra, um, do we put Yasra in the Grishnak tier? Like she, I, I, I used her very early on as a very much like utility commander. Um, honestly, if if early on like or in like I don't know. To be honest, I haven't played Evil and don't know the commanders. That's fair. She does have the siege perk, but again, I feel like. The plus one siege, a lot of evil commanders have that, and I just don't think it's very good. She has it. Uh, Grishnak has it. There is one. Who is it that has the plus two per level? Is it? Is it uh, Ugthak? Gothmog has the has the big siege difference. I, there's someone I think it's or uh, yeah I think it's Ugthak. Yeah, he has battering ram, which is a plus two per level. So that's double anybody else that the plus one. And then Gothmog has the four, which is nuts. He's a he's a lunatic. Um, tried switching troops on my Gandalf four and a half hour. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! You must be far away. How much siege does Gothmog full alchemist do? Um, 
I think full like level 50, I think you're looking close to 400 plus thousand. Josh. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you guys have not seen the Lord of the Rings orc and uruk voices like replaced with, with human voices, it is hilarious. It is hilarious. It's 500k. Jeez. All right. Um, so wait, Shadow. So you're not ready, Shadow. Is that what you're telling me? I, sh I should not attack here? You're ready? Okay. We, uh, maybe if people want to, we'll watch it again. We actually watched on stream like last week. So, um, 10 minutes for Gandalf. Okay. Uh, shadow, I'll, I'll attack you here and then I'll reinforce and we'll, and then we'll go Addy. We'll go in, uh, 10 minutes. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, it's in transition. Uh, it's in transition. So if you want to attack me, you can. Who is this? Who's coming over here? You got to keep an eye out. Romer, all right, people coming in line. As long as we're doing the 1v1s, I don't want anybody getting getting too frisky out here. Okay, no stress, I'll watch it. Again, it's funny. It's worth watching twice, so if people want to, we could definitely watch it again. But uh, it's, it is it is very funny. So this is a level 50 Gandalf, I believe. Um, Dromer, 1v1, good. All right, awesome. Okay. Witch King, I know it sounds like you maybe didn't have a f completely full army, right? Um, this is a level 48 versus level 49 uh, Witch King versus Gandalf. We had 900 Cataphract and uh, Bow Knight. So what is that command-wise? How short were you on your command? Oh, you wouldn't have had as many Bow Knights? Okay. So 900... Plus 2750 uh, divided by 50. That's 73 command. 73 command on that. Oh, wasn't short, but you you wanted to shuffle things around. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Uh, but yeah, that that's what I'm talking about with Witch King is that R3 makes a lot of difference. And to be fair, I have some, I think, pretty nuts gear on mine. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that is the Witch King there. Let's get him reinforced and ready for another 1v1. I like to run about that. Let's do that. And that should be good. So, three minutes. And then we'll be ready for Addy or Dromer. Dromer, if you're ready first, because I think Addy was waiting 10 minutes, we can do that. Wasn't short what I had six sentinels, but didn't want to wait for another. Haven't been slapped like that yet. <laughs> uh, he's, he's a special Witch King. He's very special. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> whoever said Khaldun is even close to that was out of their minds. <laughs> I do think Khaldun is solid. Don't don't get me wrong. Three minutes. Okay, that should that's gonna line up perfectly with with my with my drum. Where we can go next. Um, I do think Khaldun is solid, but that's why I was kind of like, let's test this out. But again, the R five is absolutely necessary in Witch King. The guy's a beast. Uh, not even a draw with Gandalf. Just like. Uh, I mean, let's even look how how many rounds that went. That's the crazy part with Witch King that blows my mind. I actually just went a little bit longer. Pre-battle. Again, the, the crazy thing is you get follow-up. So Dragoon uh, was stunned, actually. So that's a good first play. Nazgul Screech uh, stuns Bow Knight. So stuns going around for everyone. Um, oh, I didn't realize they both had Convener. Gandalf the Grey. So they've got the same one. They're stunned. All this stun locked down at the beginning. Cataphract is stunned. Um, okay, so Berserker gets the first attack. And then you got the avoidance. Holy, this is like an absolute standoff. Just stuns and avoidance. Here's the first hit. The Berserker got their second attack. They hit the Cataphract and knocked out 47. Uh, Alchemist stunned. Um... Dread from the helmet, which usually uh, honestly doesn't usually help out too much. Um, already affected by stun. Witch King attacks. Avoids all attacks. Poison. Um, my goodness. The uh, the amount of shutdown here is kind of crazy between these two commanders. Um, Gandalf's the convener first round stun and avoidance. Yeah, Gandalf's good. Gandalf's very good. 
Uh, Dragoon took a hit, and then Dragoon took another hit. Uh, and then maybe we get some stuff going. It looks like there's a lot more attacks in the remaining rounds, but uh, still, crazy, crazy stuff there. Okay, moving on. I just love the Witch King. My troop comp isn't optimal, but I'm curious how I fare. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Um, okay, I think I like where we're at there. I think I'm going to put Yusra Siege. To me, the Siege and Grishnak tier are just like, they're not going to be very good commanders, but they have a little bit of like optimal like uses in other areas. I feel like, honestly, she could be Grishnak or Siege tier, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, yeah. Fallen, Dagrun, Dag uh, Dragoons, and Corsair is probably the best army for Khaldun. Okay. I want to see Viz Witch King versus All Things Middle Earth Witch King versus Xeno Witch King. Yeah, did it go 10 rounds? It might have because we had we were so shut down there for the first, like, forever. Honestly, if it went to your rounds, 10 rounds, I didn't scroll all the way down. It did? Awesome. Yeah, that that's kind of crazy, too, that even though Gandalf lost here, the survivability of, like, lasting that long is, I think, impressive. I mean, again, you're going for the win, but um, troop-wise... You just have a ton of damage coming out from uh, from Witch King. And he's the best in the first two rounds. So it is kind of interesting how that played out. All right. Wilkins, tier list of evil commanders. Yeah, we're doing an evil commander tier list. And we're doing some testing in game with some of these uh, hypotheses. How much damage did Witch King do? Like 30-some thousand. He doesn't do a lot of the damage. Drum, are you attacking? All right. We got two minutes. Let's throw someone else on the on the list because we're waiting here. Am I good? Yeah, I'm reinforced. Okay. Let's throw someone up. What do you guys think? Ugthak? I've heard people say he's mini Lurts. Is he better than um, Agsok as far as tier one commanders? I would say B for Ugthak, but then I see Maltuk at B+. I'd say under Agsok. And 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 uh, Maltok might be a little bit highly ranked. We could bump him down if we feel like he's not comparing to these guys as much. Agzok is better than Ugthak. Okay, so that we like that. Does he belong in the A tier? I'd say C for Ug. Never impressed me. Ugthak is bad. Maybe above Agzok. Fifty seconds on that. BB plus. I think they're really close. Both do about 150 damage. Commander damage uh, properly specced. Agthok deals fire damage. 1,000% below Agthok. Okay, well, uh, if if we were bumping down, does Maltuk deserve to stay in the B plus tier? Or should we shuffle like that and go A, B plus, and B? Do people like that a little better? Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on it. We got... 20 seconds left here and we'll check it out. Does A, B plus and B make more sense? Good, good. No. What, what else do you guys think? Maltuk goes down even more. You think Maltuk is C tier above uh, Sharku or do you think he stay B? What do you guys, what does everyone think? All right, we're probably hitting now. Yep, here we go. And... A draw. Excellent. All right. What do we got? So this Gandalf, uh, this one did go 10 rounds. Couldn't quite, Gandalf couldn't quite knock him out. Uh, we got a level 50 Gandalf versus a level 49 Witch King. So very, very evenly matched. Uh, I'm assuming this is the pretty standard build. Gear-wise, I do have better gear with the ridiculousness over here. So overall, it's good. Um, what, what, what do we have here? All right. No, we don't have like, uh, hysteria or something like that. You have sustain on the, we're not smoking pipe. Oh boy. Which is insane. Uh, again, he is. And, uh, and we did have good, good losses here. Um, 
soldier damage, commander damage, yeah, about 300,000. So comparatively, we had 33 and 255. Now this is probably just, just different builds. Here we had uh, about 30,000 more on the soldier damage, so we were able to knock out that one a little easier. Not even level 50 Witch King. Hey, if we keep doing this battling, we might get him there. We might get him there. Uh, all right. Reinforce I'm next. Let's do it. Okay. 900. Let's go that. And let's go that. All right. Three minutes on that timer. Um, Again, still still a good battle. I, I just... Witch King is... Oh, he's just nuts. He's just nuts. All right. Um... Where are we at with this? We think Maltute goes down to see. Is it, does anybody have? I've got three minutes on the timer for reinforcements. We'll we'll watch them so that way whenever we're there, we're there. Is everyone okay with this uh, Maltute at sea? Never use him to no input. It seems like people were not like amazed with him, but they was like, yeah, he's okay, but. Compared to who else we're putting in A, A+, plus, and B, he seems to be lower than them. So I'm going to put him here for now unless anybody else has any last minute like, no, he's way better input. But I think that's where he's going to sit. I like how we, how we have it right now. All right, moving on, moving right along. We have Gorbag, who is the second to last tier one uh, commander we're looking at for the evil side. Gorbag... I think is very good with his healing, but I don't want to overvalue him because he has healing. But it's very unique on evil commanders, which I think makes him very useful in more situations like Heart of a Hero, for example, because that can be really crucial to get your troops leveled up. I like him. A, Gorbag A. Uh, st are we still thinking um, Agzok being the best? So do Gorbag below Agzok, kind of like this? A or B plus A. All right, seems like we're on the same page here. A lot of in this area. A, okay. His buffs are five. The other thing is uh, he he does have some nice skills outside of the healing. So I feel like at R1 in the healing is very nice. And then he has um, the orc damage and the uh, damage re reduction and speed. and I mean, like... I think he could have a totally different build outside of Old Orc that, that is very good as well. But I think the Old Orc gives him some versatility with, with different builds. Agzok keeps first on A. Alright. Um, do we like the A there? Or do you want me to go B plus above Ugthak? Is that... I mean, if we put him here, we're saying he's better than Ugthak. So does he... Is he firmly above? Is he in the next tier? Or does he drop down... And he's just above him in B+. I'm kind of leaning towards A myself, but I'd, I'd, I'd love to hear what people think. Under Agzok here in A. Just above. Okay. Where are we at? Here, 20 seconds. Uh, Addy, 20 seconds for the Witch King. Who's this? Dromer coming in with more. All right. Wait, did that reinforce? There we go. It took a second. All right, Addy, you want me to attack or you got it? Actually, um, if you have stamina, I'll let you do it because he's only got 40, so I want to save that. At all things Middle-Earth, got to run snipers against Addy. Are we going to have a lot of uh, range units here? I, um... Drummer, yeah, let's test out the Legolas. Yeah, absolutely. Um... I don't have my snipers at all yet. They're on the list. There's a lot of troops like that that I'm trying to get, but this we kind of we don't have them. So we'll see what happens. Here we go. A draw. Okay. All right. A third Gandalf. This is the Addy Gandalf. Uh, looks like the Hysteria on this one. You've got the Sustain. Uh, solid gear. I like it. I like it. And... We are running the Bow Knights, the Noldor Longshot, and the Cataphract. Uh, in what numbers are we running those? Um, sorry, it looks like we had 
fifteen uh eleven hundred and fifty of the cataphract and then fourteen fifty and eleven forty eight of the bow knights. So yeah, the um the snipers obviously maybe I don't know if instead of the dragoon or what would really help with that. But we took it ten rounds, we got them down to thirty five thousand uh for the HP. Um overall damage keep the keep the green would it be get rid of berserkers then i like the berserkers though um i th i think this is very similar to what we've been seeing it just i think this this army did the most damage to my witch king um damage received is 140 here damage received was 128 that's actually not far off and here damage received was okay so this one um shadow zebra i took the la i took around 60. um but i know you were wanting to switch things around so i i know sometimes these things optimal they're not optimized as much as they should be but yeah this was the most damage witch king has received i like it all right let's reinforce him mm. hold on uh-oh well, here, let me, let me just do this. Honestly, how about, just give me like, give me like a thousand of them. There we go. All right. Let's do it. Whale time. I know it. I need, I need to, I need, need to whale out a bit more. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. And where is that? Perfect. Just the right amount. All right, three minutes again on the timer, and then uh, Dromer, the level 48 leg list, it sounds like, is up next. So we'll continue with the tier list and then uh, continue that fight in a second. All right, I didn't hear any uh, anything that was like super contrary to what we have here. Um, so I think we're going to leave Gorbag below Agzok, but above Ugthak, but it's still in the A tier, if that works for everyone. And then lastly is, uh, what's even his name? Sh is it Shagrat? I think the dwarf commander R5 skill and um oh is that is that Dane or no any of the ones that have that uh, lonely mountain warrior of the lonely mountain is that Dwalin right there Dromer yeah I'm I'm assuming with uh, and again it it just it totally just depends on. B or B plus for Shagrat, bad stats but good skills. Shagrat is booty in my opinion. Um, obviously, there are going to be commanders that work better against different commanders. So, to an extent, I, I mean, if I if I'm running like a lot of alchemists, obviously it's not going to go. That's where I, I feel like you would want to shuffle if I was going against that Dwellin, for example. But that's kind of the interesting part of the game. It it, it, it keeps you guessing on what exact comp's going to be coming com you're coming up against because if you're fighting a pretty standard witch king it's like yeah some of those dwarves might do better uh but if i knew i was coming against a bunch of dwarves i might shuffle around how much prestige you get on that battle um this last one i got six thousand prestige i've been getting about six thousand on all of them so that's that's another eighteen thousand prestige in the bank Boy, i wish there was use for it <laughs> I think that'd be a lot cooler and it'd make PV it, it would make this stuff a lot more fun if there was a use for prestige because like then doing this actually it's like I'm, I'm losing troops yeah but then doing this would be um even more beneficial if you could unlock and do stuff with it but oh well all right it depends on troop type for prestige you guys had tier four it's why he got more ah okay gotcha so the more the more tier fours you take down, yeah, I don't have any tier fours. I only have tier threes in mine, so it makes sense. Um, all right, the only two comments I've received on Shagrat is B or B plus, and he's booty. So, <laughs> what else? What else do we think? Anybody else have any? I have not used him, and he doesn't look amazing to me. Um, yeah, weekly challenges or something. C tier. I'm assuming between B and booty would be C. That's so I'll split that. C, B, okay, we're kind of in this range. C, all right, if we're looking C tier, tips only commander, he's so bad. Is he better than any of the other commanders in C tier? Or is he is he definitely at the bottom of the barrel? Let's take a look at him again. 
or for the first time. Uh, here he is. Captor is an amazing. So Captor, we've got against one of target, stunned, damage received. Um, for the next, I mean, that's that looks solid. Laceration, open wound. He's got this one that Gorbag has at R5. Um, defending, Urukai, healing, defense. Honestly, I think there could be some interesting skill builds with him. But if I, I wonder if his stats just don't support that. Oof. Stinko, man, 20 by 60. That like, got a little jump out of me. Gifting uh, a tier 1 sub to Quarren. We're trying to win over all of the uh, Linden leadership by gifting them subs. <laughs> Uh, I think that the defense being up is is pretty good. Yeah. So again, I think he looks all right. But where is it just his low stats that don't really like, allow him to succeed? So, I mean, I, I, he'd be a commander if he got a little bit of stat, stat boost. He could be a lot better. Um, so if, we're, if you're thinking he's B, I mean, does anybody else... Do we agree that he's better than these two commanders? Because at least, at the very least, we could go C above them if we think he's better... Then Maltoke and uh, Sharku, or we could bump them all the way up to B. But I saw a lot of C's. A lot of C's. C's primarily, and then and then a couple of B's. So if, if we're getting C's and B's, if we split that, I think that means he's better than the C tiers, right? No D's, no D's yet. No D's yet. LOL, enjoy the cat died. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Stinko Man 20 by 60 is the cat died in game. <laughs> I like it, Evolution. <laughs> He's not my opinion. C plus final call. I don't know. We had a, we had a lot of Bs and Cs. I, I think he's in this area. I'm just not 100% sure where we place him between other characters. So if anyone has any final information, let me know. We can shuffle it around if we need to. Let's set it right there for now. Um, if, if we have an idea of who's way better, we can look at that. All right. Um, above the other other C. Witch King is ready. Dromer, do you want you want to do the Legless next or do you want to do the Dwalin next? Your uh, dealer's choice. If you just want to send in, I'm ready. Oh, Zin, he's getting in on the Witch King action over here. Vizio, where are you with the Witch King? Let's try out all the Witch Kings together. Legless, go for it. Addy trying the Haldir, love it. Let's get all three. Yeah, Zen, I want to see. I want to see that gear. I want to see your reports when we get some attacks going. Zen has a very, very good Witch King. Ah, he's just so fun. Corin, yes, you were gifted a sub courtesy of Stinko Man 20 by 60, who is also the cat died in game. That's the cat died. So you're now the proud owner of a bunch of cool Lord of the Rings emotes. Everyone loves Gandalf the Grey in Linden, so there you go. <laughs> uh Zen also has an amazing Lurts. Yeah, I think he's top. Of, he's top of our faction. He's top of our faction for sure. Uh, I mean, I know power production is not everything. I guess we have a few that have hopped over. It's honestly at this point in the game, I don't know if it's even worth it to look at power production. We're, I don't know. I don't think anyone want to hit your witch king. I want to. I want to see some reports. All right, uh, Legolas just went in and got knocked out. Let's see the report. Here we go. A level 48 legless, level 49 Witch King. Um, looked, looked a little bit ugly here. There's the build for Legolas. Uh, we got Mend. Uh, Mend units damage received, which there are no Mend. Men, I know that's may not be optimal, but that's all right. Um, Madness immunity and a Axe of Kaza Doom. And let's look at the report here. Uh, commander damage was 63,000, so good, good damage. Soldier damage wasn't wasn't there really. Had a little bit of healing. 
Round wise, let's see where it went. It looks like it went a little bit. Uh, here's round one. Protection. That uh, Dragoon's going to attack twice. This is where it just gets crazy with the double attacks from everybody. Um, even the, the Alchemist didn't get it, but that's round one. That's round two. Looks like it went four or three. It went three. So, or no, it went four. It went four. Just die before you can do anything. That's that's the thing. Witch King is just like as fast as you can do it, the the better he's going to do for for Witch King. So obviously the commanders that are have, have done better, I think, have. Um, I hope I have enough to finish that. Okay, we're good. I still have a little bit of gems. Um, all right, I'm gonna do that. Let's. I want to get this upgrade going. Well, it's not even probably worth it, honestly. All right, let's reinforce him. <laughs> Witch King destroyed him so fast he couldn't even grab a second arrow. Um. Yeah, it happens. It happens. All right. Um, I'm gonna start healing up some other some more dragoons soon if I want to keep running this exact comp. Just barely, just barely got enough for another one. Uh, Dromer, do you want to do the uh Dwallin next, or does is anybody else have someone inbound they want to do? Let someone else have a. Addy, did you have something you were doing, or are you going against uh, uh, Zeno? Yeah, um, I have, I have the Orthanx Devilry, but I did not get that ability on it to max damage, uh, Opportune Strike. That is absolutely nutty on Witch King. So I'm trying to keep an eye out in the exchange. Um, honestly, this Berserker's Remnant is good too. I just don't quite have enough to grab it. Uh, maybe I could get rid of some gear. Let's see here. Nah, we just don't have enough. We don't have enough. Um, we kind of did our really, really big pack opening and I've, I've worn down our, um, fragments or whatever they're called. So I haven't been able to buy as much coming through here, the dismantled equipment. Uh oh, oh, I thought my game froze. In. I, I think this, I think the Berserker's Remnant can be very good on Witch King as well, but I just, I, the four star four reinforce I think is good. Although I think I'm using a lot of stuff where I'm like I, I don't think like Dread is like stacking very well. Yeah, Zen's Witch King's here. Um. I got that glitch. That's annoying. Let's see here. Yeah, so I have this one, the Berserker's Remnant. But I think I would want probably Fortitude of Urukai. I don't know. Or maybe Resilience of Urukai. I don't know what would be the best, honestly. But I don't think it's, I don't think it's Concentration. This could also be good if you're using all those Alchemists. Stun immunity on the alchemist, 50%. Like, 100% stun immunity on the alchemist would be interesting. Um, so, on the armor, I have the shroud. So, three ally units gain 50% chance of avoiding the first instance of damage. But I don't know if that stacks with my other abilities that Witch King has. Does it? I don't, I don't feel like I've seen it activate. Um, so I guess I need to go to where I take the first hit. Okay, so it it is it is attempting, but Shroud didn't hit here on Witch King. Or Witch King Shroud did not hit. Um... I don't know if that, I don't know. I don't know how good it's going to be. I have my first level three purple insane. How is that so high? Pro yeah, it, it gets ridiculous. It gets ridiculous to get them going. 
Shroud did not affect there. Because it's just on their, all their first attack. I don't know. I gotta sneeze. Okay, we're good. What do we got here? Oh, mock battle. Hey, Lurch is done. Uh, that annoying. We have that annoying Witch King glitch. Let's just max this out with our points for now. I really do not enjoy that fire glitch in the back. I don't know why it's not been happening at all this time, but it it did all of a sudden. All right, who do you got here? Um, Witch King versus Addy. Send that. Somebody send that in world chat if you don't mind. Zen, I didn't know we weren't weren't friends on here. That's kind of funny. All right. Here it is. So this was Haldir, Addy's Haldir versus Zen with the Witch King. You got the snipers. You got the... Uh, Yeah, that's pretty... Well, I guess I don't. I never have the sniper. I was going to say this is pretty similar. I run these two together sometimes, but I don't have the snipers. Don't show me level 5 prices. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's like 10. I, th I think it's 10. Um, Pretty clean. Pretty clean smack right there. Here are the stats. The soul, They did a good amount of damage, though. They, did, they took a good chunk out, out there, for sure. Witch King is such a bully with alchemists. <laughs> um, my Witch King is ready for Dwalin, I think, if anybody wanted to. Uh, for Dromer, if you had that, feel free to send it. We'll hop back over here, but let me know if you're sending. Oh, okay. Use German Sentinels and Cavalier. Yeah, I, w I, wish, I wish there was like... Uh, you know what would be cool? If there was some kind of arena mode... Like some kind of battle arena you could go into. And that way you don't have to worry about march times or reinforce times. You can just try comps out and have fun testing that. Yeah, Addy, feel free. Uh, it looks like Dromer is already sending um, Dwalin. So you'll, you can be up next with Arwen. Yeah, f four star gold. I cannot imagine having a four star gold. Um, having spent a relatively big amount like three stars seemed like I mean, I'm sure I could get one of these like honestly I could probably take the nightfall up to four if I combined everything else and put it on the witch king but I've, I've kind of tried to spread out actually I do have this berserker's remnant too I forgot about that oh wait my turn everyone being so polite to attack I'll wait I'll wait to attack you, you have your turn first <laughs> uh this is Dwalin I think it's gonna be a draw I'd be shocked if it's not Oh man, wow. Interesting. I, th I thought for sure with that damage reduction. I will say, solid damage done though. Very good damage done. And it was it was the commander damage. The uh, Dwalin doing a lot of damage there. So you've got Durin's blood. Interesting. Is it? Do you think this is ideal for Dwalin, Romer? Or Dromer? I feel like if you had gone into musician with some healing, I think I feel like he may have dropped. But I don't know. Maybe maybe this is better. I mean, I, I, I guess this is the Dwalin doing damage build. So I, I don't know. You go fold up commander damage. All right. Damage Dwalin's the best, really. I, man, I love using my Dwalin on my other account with the healing. I just feel like he's nuts. But if, if the uh, damage with Dwalin is better, it'd be interesting. All right. We got to heal some stuff up, I think. We got 240. All right. Let's heal them all. See if we can do it. All right. Perfect. Yeah. I, I To me, I think, it, I guess it depends on the situation. If he would have had less losses or lasted around. But I don't know. My record with Dwalin is 254 commander damage and 100k troop damage, and my gear is not great. Wow, awesome. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess the PV, the healing is better for PvP, or PvE. Hmm, interesting. Okay. 
Good to know. All right, here it is. And this, oh man, we're, we're running out of troops here, folks. We may be, uh, we'll do extra of those guys. We may be doing our couple last ones here, at least for a bit till we get more troops conscripted. Um, Someone asked about R5 Dwell. And, uh, I'm, yeah, we'll send this in, I guess. Yeah, plus 48 might. It's nuts. I like that. I like that uh, Hammer of Moria, though. That's cool. I'm, I don't think I've seen that before. I like that. All right. We got him reinforcing there. Let's get the tier list going. We kind of we've kind of slowed down here after the tier ones. I think this can go quicker for the tier twos. Um, I am not going to lie to you guys. I'm very hungry, so we might try and wrap up a little bit sooner and try and uh, I'm going to get some lunch here in a second. Um, if we do brunch here for sure. All right, making brunch plans for Thanksgiving. Uh, Kamul. I think Kamul is great. He is being overshadowed by the Witch King, in my opinion. But I think he's a very good commander. Pretty easily accessible. I, I, I mean, obviously, you could still pay the buck to get him. But I feel like at R3, he's very, very good. Also, where did my music go? I don't necessarily want the, the back, this background music, but that's all we got. My R5 Dwallin with 3% damage. Oh, yeah. Dwallin's great for taking out those. Um... I'm thinking Kamul S tier. Mando's Kamul S as well. I think Kamul's S. Um, once we get some more up there, we can see how he ranks with other S plus and S tier commanders. But I think he's S. Speak now, forever hold your peace. S, S, S. Yep. A plus or S. Off, All right. Friend. This will be a nightmare R. Bennett. to remember. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Appreciate it. Let's do uh, Kamul S and then Shadow. I feel like I have not had as much use with him compared to um, Kamul. I feel like he's a worse Kamul and a worse Undying. and he, So I feel like he just kind of isn't as amazing uh, for Shadow. I want him to be good because he's an Asgul. He still has the Ring Wraith. Um... Even at R5, I don't think it's that amazing. But I could be convinced otherwise. If people, I mean, I, I think the Undertaker ability is cool. That all damage to, you know, damaging all enemies and it being poison. It, you know, I think there could be cool builds. But I haven't seen him be better than Kamul, I don't think. But I'd be, I'd be happy to hear otherwise if people have other, other reports to say otherwise. But I think we're going to put him there for now. I th I mean, honestly, maybe he, we could do that if people wanted. But I think that's where we're going to set it right now. And then, let's see. We are ready for another Witch King battle. If... Uh, I don't know if we had any more in line, honestly. If, if anybody else wanted to... Or Addy, are you sending Arwen? Did you want to do that still? Are you you waiting for Lurts to fight against? I would say A, a plus or A. I think the Shadow of Void is being overlooked. I think t uh, you use your Shadow as uh, you think your Shadow is better than Kamul. Um, man, that hold hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a restart because that that bug with the fire in the background really gets old all right we'll let that load up um i don't know I'd, I'd be interested to hear i i feel like i have not had the same experience but i think he's a really interesting character i think he's solid i think he's got good stats i just feel like overall kamul has just always done very good for me um so i think he, I, I but i also have not gotten the shadow as high of a level as kamul so it could be that um i don't know any other any other thoughts?
but we'll 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 set him around there for right now. If anybody else, anybody else has like a insane shadow build, let me know. Um, or or again, like if you have a report, if you want to share a, a report in the game of your shadow, or send it in the Discord or whatever. Um, that's kind of the whole thing we're trying to do here is test stuff out, see see where people really are ranking. Uh, Lurts, I feel like Lurts is very very good. I have Boromir R7. Should I focus on him? Um, Zezo, I think Boromir is a solid tier 1 commander. I don't think he's the best. I don't think he's the worst. Some people, I think, do think he's the best. I don't think he's as good as Eowyn or I like Dwallin more as well. But I think he's okay. he's solid. Um, it's kind of up to you. I mean, we. my whole thing is, after R5, we don't know how good the unique weapons are going to be until Season 2 starts. So... I think once Season 2 starts in a few days, if the unique equipment ends up being nuts, then it could be worth pushing those characters to R10. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Sorry. There's Discord. Um, yeah, send me your shadow build. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. Uh, Lurch. What's one say? Lurch just below Kamul. Do we think Lurtz is not as good as Kamul? I, I've used Kamul more, and I think he's very good. But I've seen people just do nasty stuff with Lurtz. I mean, obviously, maybe it's like most optimal with Mumakil, so maybe that's harder to like get to. But we're looking at kind of their most optimal usage. So let me know if we think that S tier ranking is appropriate below Kamul. I have not used him as much as Kamul, but I've I've heard Birds. I think Lurtz S plus. I I I'm wondering how many people are going to think S plus as well, because. Again, a lot of people, he's nasty. But again, S plus means we're saying generally we think he's better used than Kamul, which I'm not disagreeing with. I'm kind of uncertain. I've used Kamul a lot more. He's just super solid. S plus plus with Mumas. With Mumas better, otherwise a bit worse. So you think with Mumakil, he's better than Kamul. Without Mumakil, he's a little bit worse, maybe. S, top S in general. So we're kind of seeing a little, a little all, again, we're looking at the most optimal build, optimal build, but we have to sort of consider some of these things. Like if he is, if he's better than everybody else with Mumakil, that's great, but you are going to be a little bit limited on how soon you can get Mumakil. So it means he's not going to be great until, um, end game but once you get in game i mean again we're just we're kind of looking at most optimal so it, it, yeah because again it's i mean any of these commanders could be better or worse depending on who we give them if we oh we do all tier four you know whatever so lurch best two uh, tier two by far you think so true depending on the faction you choose you might not even get mumas exactly i mean so yeah he's lurch as a mordor player or bruin in our case has worked out very well but playing as almost anybody else, you may have a hard time. But again, we're looking at optimal. But let's say you decide to play Angmar next season, your alerts might be a lot less ideal than Kamul all of a sudden. Yeah, exactly. Witch King's still ready. If anybody else wanted to go uh, 1v1 him, I probably got about one more left in him before he's out of troops. So let me know. Um, it is tough because the situations can drastically change based on location and who you're playing against. So that's a tough one. I, I really don't, I really don't know where to put him because I think he is very, very good optimized, but he can be, it's not like he's bad when he's not optimized. Um, yeah, I don't want to say too much. We've got some ideas, but we'll see. But we're looking optimal usage. I, 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 we'll, we'll set him right there for now. Um, all right. S under Kamul, maybe because of the location factor. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's. I have. I'm hard, having a hard time deciding what to do because I think it's. I think when we're when we're ranking them, it's fair to look at their optimal use, uh, which I think we're talking about. Um, 
I assume go. Is it possible for anyone to put a screenshot in the Discord, please? Yeah, I'll I'll take a I'll take a picture up in the Discord after we're done for you, Thomas. And I'm also gonna be I'm gonna be chopping this up and putting it on YouTube as well as a good tier one. So I'll get those going as well because I know a few people have asked about that. Just seeing kind of where as a community we're putting the commanders. So absolutely. Um. I feel like when I say optimal, I mostly mean like there are five or R3 or whatever, like whatever skills they need. I do feel like location starts to weigh pretty heavy though. So I really don't know. Let, let's get some more commanders in there and see if we kind of figure anything else out. Okay. Let's go. Um, what's his name? Is that Ugluck? No. Is that Ugluck? No. Tavern. Hello. It is Ugluck. Okay. Oh, my tavern's freaking out. Um, I'll be honest. I've not used Ugluck at all, but I've not heard anybody of anybody else using them, him or singing his praises. So <laughs> basically looking for some input here. If anybody has some input on Ugluck, because I have not used him. Ugluck is another commander. That's just a worse lurts. Yeah, apparently, um, zero intel. Apparently, my blue, my game struggling here all of a sudden. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't have, I don't have the answer. I don't have intel on him, so. If he's a worse Lurtz, I mean, Lurtz is way up there, but I don't know if that necessarily means he's like, because isn't um, Ugthak, isn't he kind of that same kind of worse Lurtz build, like baby Lurtz? So does that mean he's above? I mean, surely he's above these tier ones, right? Surely he's above them. We think B. I prefer Ugthak to Ugluck. So yeah, B, probably A or B plus. So if we're thinking A, that's I think where we also have to consider we're kind of comparing him to other other players. Do we, you know, if we if we say A or B plus, that means he's better than Ugthak or Ugluck. Oh my gosh, Ugthak. But they he does you true. He does have bigger stats than a tier one. But is the accessibility of Ugthak something to be considered? I'm not sure. Um, if he was bumped up to A, does that, how is he compared to Agzok and Gorbag? It definitely seems like a, less people have used, have used this. If we did bump him to B plus, I don't know if we want to set him there. Alright, finally got got the game going again. Alright. Um, pretty easily through the red book after the chess. Yeah, fair. Maybe we shouldn't rank him because we don't know. Uh, again, yeah, that's where it's uh, that I like the idea of doing this as a community because I really I don't have a huge opinion on him. We have a, we have a few giving feedback based on their preferences or use, so I think we can put him somewhere but maybe he has an asterisk by him of just like well we're not maybe he hasn't been used enough or but again if he was really really good I think he would be used more I think that information would be out there um, he has Urukai Elite Pursuer and the White Hand all the same as Lurts right with Outlaw instead of something else Urukai Elite Pursuer White hand instead of and instead of Urukai firstborn, which obviously I think is very good for Lurts. So yeah, I mean a, a worse Lurts and Lurts we're saying is S tier. I like his troop support a lot, but he's also one of the few tier twos I have. He's my first and only tier two pull, and I dislike him. All right, I th I'm waiting for you ranking. Yeah, oh that's awesome. You got on your free play count. That's crazy. We'll, yeah, we're getting close there. 
It seems like we're floating around the B or B plus tier. I've had a few kind of say a little bit higher. So above, do we we think if since he since he since they're both very kind of like similar to Lurts, but maybe do the tier two stats take him above Ugthak? Uh, Vizio, you were saying you like Ugthak better than Ugluck. Curious what what everyone else thinks. Again, this is not the end all be all. This is just a general getting an idea of what everyone thinks of these commanders. Um, so, I think those could be pretty I interchangeable. So I got one vote for above and one vote for below on him, basically. So he could, he could go either way. We'll we'll set it there again. If anybody if anybody wants to throw something out there, let us know. Um, we'll see. All right, next is Grishnak. Grishnak has his own tier. Um, I don't know if that's just because he's just that bad, like as a tier two. Which honestly, I mean, out of all the tier twos I'm looking at here, it's like yeah. Resources and siege, march speed, tips, um, interrogator. A lot of people have this at R one. And so putting that at R5. Uh, honestly, since there's a Grishnak tier, I'm just thinking maybe we put him in the Grishnak tier. S plus. Um, I, th I don't know. I think it, if anybody's used Grishnak extensively, let me know. But otherwise, we're going to put him in the, in the Grishnak tier, which maybe it's there for a reason because he just doesn't compare to other tier two commanders. Next, we have Az Azru... Core, or Peter Jackson as I call him, discount Peter Jackson. Um, I thought he looked interesting, especially compared to the mouth. I was kind of comparing him to the mouth of Sauron and seeing who I thought looked more interesting. He does have healing. I only use him for a Tyler uh, for March speed and siege buff. Yeah, so I think I think in the Grishnak tier is fine for him. Um, or were you talking about? I, th I assume you're talking about Grishnak, unless you're now talking about Peter Jackson. I don't. Does he have March Speed? No, I, th I think yeah. Okay. Um, so Grishnak has a heal at R1 or not Grishnak. Peter Jackson. Um, Warship Captain recovering. What is that maxed out? Twenty-three point three times fifteen. Three hundred. Is that three hundred fifty percent? So one allied unit recovers 350%, also removes all debuffs from the army. I think that's pretty good at R1. Tips, that sucks. If he didn't have that, he'd probably be doing a lot better. And then you got defense. So you got the heal and defense here. Raider, you got ranged units in, uh, inflicting burn damage. Uh, a chance to inflict burn damage. Burn damage and burn damage. Burn damage, poison damage. Uh, madness. You got you got a madness here two uh, in the first four rounds. Attacking twice, but at minimum damage. Um, That'd be like 30, 30 some percent. So that could be nice if you have someone that has a smaller range. Siege. Eh. Okay. I don't know. Um, I think he sounds solid. Honestly, I feel like that might put him in just like the B tier. I'm not sure. I feel like I feel like he sounds better than the bottom level commanders we talked about, but I don't know if he really compares to the top level commanders we're talking about. Like if he'd be in there, perhaps. I feel like I'm just unsure on what's his face on Ugluck. So I'm thinking B, but again, he has that R1 heal. You think A? I don't know if, again, and maybe just running him with the R5, with the R1 heal is kind of a, R5 heal and debuff removal for everyone could be very good. Uh, especially, I don't know if he can, if he'd be good for Mumakel. B plus maybe. All right, so we got a we got an A and a B plus. So do we think that you know is he the best B plus? Then is he we split the difference there? Are we saying he's better than the baby Lurtzes?
I think he's somewhere in there. All right. Any more thoughts on Peter Jackson? Let us know. Uh, let's finish up the last two. Okay. Let's finish up the last two here and hop into tier threes. I think everyone's excited to see those. And then uh, I need to get myself some food. I'm getting hungry here. Mouth of Sauron is the anti-commander commander. Agree with Necro? Okay, cool. Um, I feel like on paper, he, s he seems so cool. I really like the Mouth of Sauron as a character. But I don't know how like how useful he is. Really, S plus to high A. Re okay, wow. I, I didn't think he he was that that far up there. I think he he seems cool. Um, you guys think he's up there in the A plus even S tier, S plus tier even. If you hit the right target, and again, I think that's we we have to, we have to give everyone kind of their best, um, their best chance. You know, it's like just like we're talking about Lurts. If he's best with Mumakil, so be it. But like, if he's best with Mumakil, he's absolutely nuts. So if 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 Mouth of Sauron using the right situation is very very good, I think we have to look at it like that. Oh yeah, send us some send us some stuff on uh, on his uh, fights. Um, I just need to wrap up and do some diplomatic discussions here in a second. <laughs> it never ends. Uh, all right. So we're thinking a S to a plus. If you hit the right target, he's S plus, but otherwise I don't know, which I, again, I think it can be situational. So does that mean we just kind of split the difference there and put him in S? Yeah, very situational, but if he excels in that situation, like he has a use and he, I mean, I, I think that's, it just kind of depends on how you're doing it. Above shadow. So we like S at the end of the list, or we could go A plus above shadow. If we feel like the S is a little bit more exclusive, which honestly, I think we're going to have some tier three commanders between S and S plus. So maybe that is where we just say, let's keep him down there. Something like that. All right, top A plus, cool. If anybody else have any th has any thoughts on Mouth of Sauron, let us know, we'll see. Uh, Gothmog is next. I like Gothmog a lot and not just as a nuts siege commander. I, he is the best siege commander in the game, so he would definitely get this spot. But I really like his healing second in command he has. Um, I mean, it's not the most amazing, but you have increased chance for maximum damage, reduced debuff, debuff effects, heal, uh, extra melee damage, defense, and avoidance. Posted the fight. Let's look at it. So here's Mouth of Sauron versus a level 49 Kamul. Which is a pretty, pretty good looking Kamul. I mean, yeah, I, th I think he's solid. I think he's definitely solid. Um, hmm. I don't know if that changes his ranking or not for anybody, but there's that there's that fight for you. Thanks for sending that. Um, the crippled plus alchemist, yeah. Gothmog is good uh, with the especially with a troop like the alchemist has such a range. You got the healing, you get defense, you got the avoidance, extra damage for melee. Not to mention, if you did want to switch and have him siege if you needed to, he's ab absolutely a monster at that. Yeah, no worries. Um, 
S tier. You favor Gothmog over Kamul. Anybody second that? Anybody think Gothmog sits a little higher than Kamul? I think I could be fine with that with that ranking, but I just don't know. I don't know. I've used Kamul more, but I'm using them both now a pretty good amount. Um, it's just tough to tell because I feel like I run them a little bit differently. But let's see. So, like for example, it's hard to. This is where I want the testing to come in. You got, I got mine at level 44. Um, was this a full army on him? I think so. Yeah. So full army here against a level 40, uh, 49 Legolas. So punching up a little bit. He took it to a draw, but it's kind of ugly. Didn't didn't do crazy. Kamul. Um, let's see. Is this full army Kamul here? Kamul got slapped by this Gimli and Guardians. What else are you doing, Kamul? It's hard to tell because some of these are not against full armies, so you gotta find a good one. So here was close with closer with Kamul to a full one. Taking a Boromir to the to a draw. I don't know. I don't know. You think Kamul is an A? Wait, that's not a standoff and a crossing. Uh, the, talking about the title. Yeah, the standoff is now a... We got our butts kicked off. <laughs> um, S under Kamul. Some people are saying Kamul is not as high as S. I think they're all up there. I think I've had a little bit better luck with Kamul, I'll say. But I think the versatility of, of Gothmog's heal... Like over the weekend, I did a lot of Heart of, Heart of a Hero for some extra gold. And Gothmog did better than Kamul. A lot less troop losses. So it does depend on what you're using them for. We have to take that into consideration. Yeah, it seems like... I, th I think that I think everyone was pretty happy with Lurks being above Kamul there. Um, if we do think Gothmog's better... I don't know. I think... I think... I think Kamul can be A+. plus. It just depends on where he is between Gothmog. Because I do think Kamul is like a step above Mouth of Sauron and like Shadow, for example. So I could go either way here. It just depends on kind of what we're doing with him. If you're doing PV, I, it's kind of that PVE versus PVE, PVP discussion, which again, we could go through and do tier list and do a tier list for PVE and a tier list for PVE and all that stuff. Um, Trash, you would, you would bump, kind of bump down everybody. Yeah, I don't know. But then again, I feel like if we're bumping down Shadow, that means you have to kind of take a look at where everyone is. Like, I don't know if I think Grima is better than the Shadow or Mal or Khaldun. I don't know. But I get you kind of bumping them both down. Um, I don't know. I, th I think we'll stick them around there. You think Grima is better? Better than Shadow? I'm going to put him below Gothmog for now. I get what you're saying. Maybe bumping both of the Nazgul down. But we had a, a decent amount of votes for, for where things are right now. So we'll, we'll kind of we'll hang it there. But again, this is also situational. Yeah, but we are, we are looking at the most optimal build. We're giving everyone their best shot. Because, for example, Lurts being S tier. Lurts is absolutely at his best with a full army of Mumakil. I mean, he could be even, he could be S+, plus, S++, plus plus, whatever. Um, a lot of these commanders have to be higher. So we're, we're looking at how are the best build, optimal build. You know, you have R5 at least, and even you have the best troops possibly. So, I don't know. Let's leave it there. And uh, let's jump to the R5. Or, the, sorry, the Tier 3. Let's jump to the Tier 3 and wrap this puppy up. Okay, um, 
I would like to hear some chiming in on folks on other tier three commanders that I don't have. I have the Witch King Undying. I think without a doubt, Witch King is S plus. And I think he's I think he's the best S plus commander. Um we just saw him slapping around people back and forth. He's nuts. Again, he's hard to get. Yes. Again, he needs to be R3. Yes. That's that. Undying at R5. At R at R3, I like him. I think at R5, he's going to be even more nuts. So I think I think Undying is S plus as well. But I I don't he's not as good as Witch King, I don't think. So for now we're putting him below there. Um Sauron. I have not used Sauron. We think in uh we think in S plus. And I'm thinking I've heard Kieran is S plus. I feel like I've heard the most hype around those tier three commanders. It seems like the Black Serpent might be a little underwhelming. Like he has that movement kill synergy, but like you just all you gotta do is send one troop type and then it makes his best ability a little bit less useful. And then same with Saruman. I have not heard a lot of people singing a lot of great songs about him. Where do you think Saruman is? Viz, I don't know if you're still there. I know you have uh Saruman on on this one. We're on three fifty. Kieran's a drawing machine. Trash, you think Saruman's B? For me, Kieran is the strongest, always direct in PvP. Saruman C, but probably I will take it on B. I'll put Saruman S. Again, or Sauron S. Uh, PvE. Okay, I gotcha. Um, because again, if Saruman's not as good as the other tier threes, that's fine. We understand that. But if we start dropping him, are we really saying an optimally built Saruman at R5, at whatever he needs, is worse than like Gorbag? Or worse than, you know what I mean? You think Sauron's more OP than Undying? I did hear someone say he's a worse Grima. So, that's just crazy to me that he's a wor I mean, do we do we go a, a plus below Grima then? This commander has a chance to come into some madness for two rounds. So he can get madness, but his dam his his units receive less damage, and he, the chance is lowered. Uh, extra damage for melee, focus damage, focus damage. Focus damage, focus damage. Uh, madness for all enemy units. That seems pretty good. I feel like Voice of Saruman's probably what you want to go into. Yeah, each round against two enemy targets. So you'd have a 30% chance for that way your enemies are also attacking each other. Damage dealt increased to 30%. A uh, little bit of recovery for Urukai. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not blown away just looking at it, but I, I honestly don't know. Yeah, Grima does have a little bit more synergy around his madness. Um, I don't know. I'd be curious to hear what other people think. I know people are coming in and out of chat, so I don't know what other people think that have him. But it sounds like I've I've not heard anybody say he's better than Grima, so I feel fine putting him there. I don't know if he needs to really be bumped down further. If it's like again fully kitted out, you have to take into account his stats being higher as a tier three. Is he? You know, I don't know. I think that's where we're gonna put him. Um, I don't know. I think that I think that's kind of it. 
Does anybody else have any last second things that like someone needs to be moved around? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think these are, I think they're all great. I think situationally things can shift around a little bit. Definitely Grishnak tier for me. Um, it just depends. We're trying to look at like their best uses. So that being the case, again, I just, I just think I, I don't think there's any which question on Witch King being an absolute maniac. I just, I just think he is ridiculous. You think Kieran's above Sauron? Say, thinking uh, Kieran is the second best commander, possibly. Again, he has the healing. The, he's the draw master, it sounds like. I could be convinced. I just don't know. The other thing is, I, I really... I'm excited to get the R... I want to get R5 Undying so bad because I want to start testing him against some of those healing commanders that really have, you know, evil have a hard time with a little bit. Kieran just... I, he has... He's kind of like... Uh, Radagast for evil, I guess I've heard. Stun. Affecting all enemies. Each round. Each round that's a chance to stun all enemies. Recovery. On round three, frontline rescue. Stat decrease. Damage reduction. Damage reduction. Enemy ranged. Uh, another stun possibly there. Damage reduction. Damage reduction. Stun. Uh, tribal tactics be interesting too. What is it, son? What is it? Yeah. Well... Either way, all some fantastic commanders, and I am excited to continue testing out all of them because I think there's some very, very cool stuff that can happen with those. Um, I'm going to recall my Witch King back to the fort because I don't want him to get just, like, sniped out here if uh, someone else gets a little bloodthirsty. So I'm going to recall him back. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up. Uh, the doggy is letting me know it is time for me to take him out, and I am also very hungry. So, again... I think some of these things could be shuffled around. Uh, Sauron's quite OP with a good build. I definitely could see it being that or that. I'm not super set on either one. I think they're all fantastic commanders. I do think the Witch King slaps harder than most, so I, I'm very comfortable putting him at S plus at the top. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for our tier list today. Thank you to everyone who's provided some very invaluable feedback. Um, uh, one of our goals in server 350 is to continue to provide spaces where we can do we did some really cool pvp testing today uh just i mean it was kind of just a witch king showing off but bringing different commanders in and seeing at different respect levels what they can do how they interact you know uh, all that kind of good stuff so hope i pull sauron since i didn't get witch king yeah i i would i would love to pull all kind of, i mean i didn't i haven't pulled witch king or I haven't pulled any tier threes on this account. So if I did, if I pulled on dying, I'd be so happy because then he'd be R5 and I could really see if the anti-healing is as good as it sounds or if it's maybe a little bit more situational, I think. But either way, that is the tier list. Um, keep your eyes out on YouTube. I'm going to try and put these together. Um, I'm going to try and chop out some of our play testing because this video would just be really long if I put it out like with everything we've done during this time. But uh, I'll have the good list and the evil list. Obviously, we could also do more situational ones or we could say you know, best PVE or best PVP or, you know, whatever. But we're just kind of getting a general idea. If, if someone wants to look at this and wanted to focus on someone, they could kind of have an idea. Maybe, maybe not these lower ones. And yeah, these are better. All right. That has been our tier list for all of the evil commanders. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the link to Twitch is in the description below. So if you want to come hang out with us as we do some of this stuff live on stream, uh, that'll be linked below. But that's going to do it for me in this one. And I hope to see you in a future video. Uh -huh.